Today we're talking about Klein's 60 watt solar panel. Klein was nice enough to send this to me. I am under no obligation to give a good review or anything like that. My thoughts are my thoughts on this. When I got this, I was like, okay, well, this is not gonna be a very big solar panel. I thought, oh, this is nice. It comes, it comes in a nice bag, that's great. First off, let's look at the strap. I kind of wasn't too impressed with the strap. It's a, just a simple nylon strap, but it doesn't lock. It slides very easily. And I could totally see this, putting this around your shoulder, breaking off. So I'm not very happy about that, but the handle is very nice. Nice nylon handle, little rubber grip, so you can carry it around. And on the back side is where all the wiring is. You can pull it out. You get a 16 foot cord. You can pull off this APP connection and there is an eight millimeter jack that can plug into a power bank system. The Klein KTB5, you can plug that directly into it. You can also do a couple little other things with this. You get this little cord that is already hooked onto the unit itself. This will come in handy because this is a 60 watt solar power unit, but you can daisy chain it and add another 60 watt Klein panel. That is really cool. So you can get up to 120 watts off of the solar panels and you can only hook up two solar panels together. And then what is, I thought what was really cool on this is there is a little USB jack right in the back of here. I noticed that you can plug a USB port and you could charge your phone. You could charge any, any USB device basically off of this without even plugging it into a power bank system. You could even charge your little power bank system off of this directly. So I thought that was a really cool uh, feature that they had on this. I like this little bag on here, a little Velcro bag, just keeps everything contained. Now opening this up, I thought I was just gonna be undoing this nylon strap and sliding out the panel. That was not the case. So this does have a nice little uh, nylon strap that locks, a little plastic lock on here, and it keeps this flap from move, moving around and the, the unit coming out. This actually folds out into one big solar panel. I thought that was really cool. And on the back side, there are little Velcro straps that are attached to this unit. And you can fold it out at a 45 degree angle and you can place the panel in the direction of the sun. There are eye hooks all around this solar panel. So you can hang this solar panel if you want off of hooks, or you can use the eye hooks to stake down this solar panel so it does not move. That I thought that was really cool that, that this whole setup is really nice and portable. Klein did a really good job on this. Even when you plug this in to charge, it doesn't take away your usage of power for the power unit. You can still use the power unit and plug this in and this could be charging your power unit and you can still be drawing power off your power unit. That's really nice because you could have this going all day, hooked up to your power unit. If you're out on the beach, using your power unit to you know, power your stereo, whatnot, later at night when there is no sun out, you will still have a full charge pretty much on your power unit because this thing would be charging it all day. Now the operating temperature for this solar panel is about 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which equates out to, I think, about negative 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. So that, that's a pretty good range for operating temperature. So on the back of this unit, where the USB charging port is, there is three little LED lights that will illuminate when you put up your solar panel. Depending on how many lights are illuminated is how efficient this solar panel is going to be putting out. So I took this out on an overcast day and I got about one LED light lit up on the back of the solar panel. 
which wasn't too bad. I already know that on a bright sunny day, you're gonna get three lights. But when it's really overcast, I wanted to see if it would even register. I got one LED light out of it and the solar panel unit was putting out about three watts. Overall, I think this panel is great. There's a couple things on it that I would have differently, like the, the nylon strap, I'd, I'd probably make that a little bit better. It just seems like it's a little bit flimsy and the, the strap on it, it's just, I would, I would have made it a nice little buckle and then maybe had like a little bit of a shoulder, uh, rubber shoulder pad on there. So when you're carrying it around, it's a little bit more comfortable. So it weighs five pounds. This is a nice portable unit. I love how it folds up. Everything is so compact. It has its nice little carrying case, keep everything in. So you're not having to have another bag for cords. I, I love the fact that they use they, they added a USB port on here just for charging little stuff. Even if you don't have a power bank, that is great because you could just pick this up for camping just by itself. You don't even need a power bank. And if you just want it for charging your phones or charging any USB device. Now you can use pretty much any power bank system that has a USB hookup to charge, or you can have a eight millimeter DC input adapter. So that, that's all you need to use this. If you haven't seen my videos on Klein power bank systems, I'll put a couple of links up there and you can check out those videos. They're uh, really cool power bank systems. I highly recommend them. If you have any comments, like I said, comment down below. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and do so. Hit the like button. I'm Philip Bridges and I will see you guys on the next one.